Cowpeas are a, a very important source of protein for people, particularly in West Africa. About 200 million people rely on cowpea. Cowpea is also called black-eyed peas elsewhere in the world. One of their features uh, that makes them very robust in terms of climate change is that they are already quite drought tolerant. And my project is to make uh, cowpeas resistant to uh, an insect pest that attacks the crop in the field. The gene that we are introducing into cowpea is derived from Bacillus thuringiensis, often abbreviated to Bt. This bacterium is a soil microbe. It has been used by farmers for 70 or 80 years. The Bt is very specific. It's known not to have any effect on any other group of organisms. There are many insects, of course, that attack cowpea, but the primary one is a legume pod borer. This is a moth that lays its eggs on the flowers and young pods of cowpea and basically destroys the yield. Yield losses can be as much as 80% in, in, in bad years, but 50% yield loss is quite common. Cowpea has no natural resistance to this pest. The only options really that farmers have is to spray insecticides, and they don't want to do that, and oftentimes they can't afford to, of course. So our approach to this was to introduce natural inbuilt resistance to this insect pest. We have been able to get access to this gene for use in cowpea by interacting with the African Agricultural Technology Foundation who have been very helpful in gaining access to this gene for us to use to introduce into cowpea. The gene has been made available by the Monsanto Company on a royalty-free basis for use in Africa. Most of this work is now based is in Nigeria, Burkina Faso, and in Ghana those major producers of cowpea. And in general, I would say that the farmers in West Africa and the consumers are, in fact, quite um, positive about the technology. They see this as a, a very acceptable alternative to using insecticides. They want to have access to the technology, just like farmers elsewhere in the world, and they want to have a choice.